Hello everyone, I'm Chesley44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Blades of Avernum. Last episode, we happened to visit Geralt's Hamlet and have made our way through the fort here. Now, it's time to head west and actually deal with, well, start dealing with the giants around here. Of which I see a group over there. Let's see if we can deal with them somehow. There is a group of giants hiding in the forests. They have gathered huge amounts of rocks and boulders of various shape in a pile. No doubt the giants are planning on hurling the boulders at the river fort. Suddenly one of them grunts something and waves its club at your direction. The rest lab their clubs with glee and attack you. Eight hill giants and two hill giant fighters. So based on my giant, the fighters are the big problem here. The rest of them aren't that bad. But yeah, the, f the fighter is the problem. The fighters are the problem here. Because they do a lot of damage. And can knock me back. Okay, that needs some healing. Well, there goes one regular giant. And I can cast another spell. There goes that fighter. Alright. You give a bit of healing to Draco. There goes another fight, another hill giant. Okay, uh, finish on that one. Missed. Okay, how about you move there, and you... Yeah, that killed two of them. Oh, his haste wore off. Eh, yeah, no big deal. Yeah, we got this. Perfect! A couple of steel arrows and iron large shield, nothing else. So you grab the steel arrows, and we're good. Alright, we managed to save a bit of a, bit of a problem there. We gain the smell energy, there we go. Now... Here's where we arrived. Is there a pit in the middle there? Interesting. Anyway. Here's Farango again. You walk into the remains of Farango. You do not see a devastated town. You see a town being looted. There are no signs of battle, but some of the walls have been knocked over, most likely due to frustration. The giants did not find anyone to fight, so they took their frustration on what they could find can still hear the giants roaming the small streets and see them. Alright. Okay, somehow we have a mage here. That needs to die. Okay, yeah. Kill that mage. Still alive. Not pleased about that. Oh, that is definitely I'm not pleased about. Okay. He's dead. Good. I would very much like that giant to come over here, please. He doesn't. Ah, there he is. Excellent. You gotta be careful, because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some dangerous ones around here somewhere. Oh, yes, and behind one of these. Okay, that one is a fighter. There's two fighters. Yeah, you do nothing. Okay, these guys aren't actually that bad.
Well done. Thank you, Adrian. Actually, yeah, we should ask Adrian if he has anything to say here, now that I think about it. Excellent. Alright, Adrian. Adrian is watching the remains of Ferrango. He is clearly uncomfortable of being here. Did you know anything about Ferrango? The archer shakes his head. Actually, no. This was just one of those new towns like Geralt's Hamlet, except even smaller. I was never here, but heard that people were excited about the farming opportunities here. Adrian shrugs. I was never a farmer, so I did not bother coming here. Sad looking at, at this state, though. You came out of nowhere! Healing... Healing again... There we go. Oh, one of them dropped some coins. Oh, crap. Yep, here they are. Actually... Well, that's good. Oh, it's just... This isn't so bad. I thought it would be worse. Okay, there's actually two of them. <coughs> oh, that is actually bad. Those are hill giant maulers. Yeah, this is actually kind of bad. Slow them down, please. There goes that one, at least. Okay, the fighters actually aren't that bad. The maulers are more of a problem. There we go. That's all the loot that was left over here beforehand. This was destroyed. Yeah, I see you. Okay, there's one more giant up here. I see ya. Alright, I think that was all of them. Now, behind one of these... This is without a doubt the biggest tree in town and where Timothy once buried his stash. You pull out your shovel and start digging. The ground is, like Timothy said, very rough. After a while, you hear a satisfying clunk. A moment later, you have uncovered a small locked stone box. You pocket it. Okay, I forgot that was where it was supposed to be. At least we've cleared out the giants who were looting the place. Give me a sec. I want to see... No, we can't really get any further down. We're not going to explore further west. First, we're going to turn in his box of things. I mean, we fell in his cart and... Scared the crap out of him, and now he's getting drunk off his ass. It's the least we can do. Oh crap, three Onevians. You know what? We should probably just not cast any spells. That might actually do something. Okay, I guess that doesn't actually matter. Of course that happened. Okay, come on, let's finish off these before they explode and kill us. There we go. And take that arrow back. We're good. I did not intend to do that. It just happened to happen. All right, I believe he is this away. And here. Uh, Timothy, I found your box. 
Oh, really? You're here! Timothy grabs the box from your hand and with some effort produces a small stone key from his pants. With a click, the lid of the box opens and Timothy peers inside. Ah, still intact. He pulls out a bottle from the box and takes a hefty swig. Wait a minute, you've been drinking over some lost booze? Timothy looks at you in confusion. There's not just any booze. This is fine film wine. I pinched it when I was working at the kitchen a while ago. He stares at the box again. Besides, there's more in here. I said, my dagger and... Huh? Where did I get this? Timothy smiles blissfully. Oh, yeah, I stole it off that. Huh? Timothy looks at you, then at the box again. Uh, yeah. He gives you a silver ring. It's clearly magical. An archer's ring. Okay. That's actually better than the Fletcher's ring. Sure, why not? I'll take it. We can sell this other ring. Also, we have some emeralds. I didn't even realize that. Also, Draco leveled up. Point and mage spells. Now it's at 16, which means we can get arcane shield. If we really wanted to train in it. I can't remember where the mages were. Anyway, let's sell the things that we happen to have here. To you. I'd like to sell these emeralds and this Fletcher's ring. Thank you. Isn't there a mage in here somewhere? Oh, maybe not. Yeah, no biggie. Back to the west we go. We can start heading off to the west. Do we actually have any other quests? A concerned mu- Okay. Scout the valley. Okay. All we have to do is go into the Valley of the Giants. No, that was something else. <laughs> Don't ask. You enter Crow Valley. Despite the fact that you saw the valley hundreds of years in the future, it does not look at all that different. The mountains look the same. The river will not change its current course, its current in the course of the years. You can almost see the roads leading to Barum's Keep, but this isn't Crow Valley. Not yet. The valley belongs to the hill giants, the towering humanoids nearly extinct in your time. If the witch Raquel is right, the giants are doing something to disrupt time in their northern fortress. The fortress might be your only way back home. Getting there will not be easy. You know very well the reputation of the bloodthirsty giants. Getting north unnoticed is an impossible task. Several fights await you. Well, let us begin. We'll clear out the south first, of course. Oh! Eight hill giant fires four maulers! That's bad. And these guys are fast and powerful. This won't be easy. Arcane Summon, not going to be very useful. Wow! Okay, we're going to need to be more careful here. Pardon me, reloading. These guys really are going to be very powerful and deadly and dangerous. Yeah, those guys are following us. You stop just out of amazement. The structure ahead of you looks stunningly familiar. It's as if you're looking at the Empire Barricade again. The patrols guarding the barricade are, of course, not human. Several groups of giants guard the barricade, which blocks your way to the northern valley. You get out of sight for a while to see if the giants would decrease the number of the guards. You're not that lucky. During your observation, you notice two other groups of giants approaching the barricade from the south. They relieve two groups from their posts, and the relieved guards head south. The bulk of the guards must be living somewhere south. Attacking there might decrease the number of guards at the barricade. Interesting thought. And probably something we should try. So that bunch of guards I fought, 
Okay. First, though, it looks like there may actually be, like, a hidden path over here. Ah, there! Not really. I mean, there is, but I don't think I can reach it. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of guards. Ah, that village there. The giant's main source for meat must be sheep. You base a con this conclusion on the fact that there are literally hundreds of sheep in front of you. You can't see any giants herding the sheep. They are probably allowed to wander around freely until the giants need meat. You leave the animals buying to themselves. Uh, looks like we actually... Looks like the Empire actually cut away through there. All right, we need to deal with that group of giants there, otherwise it's going to be very difficult to get back. All right, this is not going to be easy in the slightest. Oh, great. They're, surround They're going to be able to surround the guy. I do not want to them to surround... You can actually do a slow. That would actually be a very good idea. Yeah, that helps out a lot. A haste cue should help out a lot. And you... A haste Bonnie? That's all you can do. How that one casts spells, I don't know, but it worries me. Alright, uh... War Blessing on Sheik. There goes one giant. The others are coming. They're surrounding. Alright, let's get some more slowing. Alright, Bonnie, wait. There's another giant. Alright. Uh, Arcane Summon. That might actually help out a bit. Alright, you a healing. And how about one of these? I don't want to hurt our own guy. I mean, I don't want to hurt Adrian. Alright, you wait. Yeah, that'll actually help out a lot. I'll take it. That killed one of them. Good. You fire a few arrows. That was actually surprisingly effective. Alright, wait. Nice. Nice. Okay, we can do this. Fox is taking a lot of damage. We've gotten rid of the weak ones, but now we're at the strong ones. Alright, wait. Nice. Wait, okay, you can fire again. I don't know why I, I didn't mean to hit that. Oh, that's bad. I did not need to make only Bonnie active. That actually did not help us out at all. But I think we can get through this now. You... Alright. Nothing. Probably should have had you attack. We got this now. Excellent! 
one more to kill. And it's dead! We're good. Steel arrows and two iron large shields. And someone leveled up. I don't know who. Sheik leveled up. Excellent. Alright then. Beautiful. Now let's recover the spell energy. And that is beautiful. I just want to... Yeah, that's a dead end. So that barricade down there is basically the only way we have to get through. <sighs> Alright. You know what? Pardon me for a minute. I do want to see if there's like a way through over there. We don't have enough time to start on the giant's town over there. But I think we have enough time to make an entire run around the entire place and see if I'm right about there being a hidden passage over there to deal with those wolves. Yeah, yeah, that seems right. <laughs> it's a long run, I know, but we'll be fine. Ugh. Just gotta get through the grand swamp here. Okay, down this way. Did not see those Onevians until it was too late. Alright, is there... Huh. I guess I was wrong. There's no way through. Interesting. I mean, there is a way through on the south shore there, but that's it. And there's no way to get to it. It's completely blocked off. So, there's wolves over there, I guess, uh, huh. Interesting. There were Onevians here, and they appear to not be here now. Okay, good. Alright then, we'll run right back. Did not mean to walk into Tempere. Although, there's a priest here. Teach me any religious rituals? Yes. Please learn Divine Restoration. Excellent. Still can't get Divine Host, but Divine Restoration is actually a good thing. I have found out that that is the one way you can actually cure webs in battle. There's no other way. So that's nice. Uh, do I want to improve anything else here? Um... Honestly, most of the spells I use are at the right level. I guess... Cloud of Clouds. Alright. Now, I know there's a mage somewhere, but I can't remember where it is. I don't know if we actually... Know. Well, there is one spell we can learn now that I remember it. Let's see. The mage must have been in one of the earlier towns. Which one? Couldn't have been in there. No, not at all. Uh, oh! Was it the, uh... I think it was... What's her name? The witch. It might have been her. Let me see here. Yes, it was her. Okay. Arcane Shield! Thank you very much. Still can't learn Arcane Blow, but we're good. Arcane Summon level 3 would be very nice, but I'm not going to get it. Lightning Spray le skill 5 would be very nice, but it's so expensive that I'm not going to bother getting it. Then again, what the hell else am I going to cast... am I going to uh, use my coin on right now? We're good. Alright, now we can go back... And I think we're going to deal with the giant's village over there in the next episode. It'll be very interesting, and probably very dangerous and difficult, but still interesting. I wonder what we'll find in there. Still, we are adventurers. We are going to be the group that dealt with the giants, even though it was only one adventurer in 
legend. Still, we'll see how it goes. Should be entertaining and interesting. But that'll be in the next step. The Giants came back. Of course the Giants came back. Alright, let me save and then we'll deal with this group of Giants and then that'll be it. Please hold. Alright, let's do this again. Eight fighters, four maulers. Now wait for them all to come in closer. Good. Now, a healing. You... Smack it, miss. You need to do a slow. That one cast a spell I did not want cast. You... need to slow the rest of these. You just step slightly closer. Definitely need a healing here. Alright, you need to... Uh, haste body. That actually worked out. Okay. You can cast it at four groups. That's actually pretty nice. Yeah, that was kind of useless, but... You step back. I don't want you to uh, attack those, but an arcane summon would be very nice here. Feeling something like that might happen. All right. Now, A healing there, and start firing arrows. Nice. That went got rid of one of the maulers. I'll take it. Now you. Yeah, smacking would be better in this case. Alright, uh, wait. Actually, I think a haste to fog would be better. Alright. Give a healing to fox, and fire an arrow to that one. Excellent. Now wait. Well done. That one is dead. Excellent. Now, a couple more arrows. Alright, wait. Well done. Well done. This is going well this time. Now that we know how to deal with these guys. Why did I move two places? That was actually very painful, and I am not pleased about it. Wait. Right, a couple more arrows. For some reason, my mouse isn't working right. It's occasionally moving, acting twice, and I don't know why. All right. We're all done here. Strength elixir, a couple of steel arrows we can take. Okay. Well done. Cleared out the giants down here. And now, next episode, we can enter into the giant's village here and clear it out. This won't be easy, but it should be fun. That'll be in the next episode, so until then, I'm Chester44, that is Fox, Sheik, Bonnie, and Draco. This has been a Blades of Avernum Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.